What is going on guys? Welcome to Same Old Everton. Excuse the poor video quality and all that shit. I'm not I really couldn't care anymore. What I do want to talk about is that shit performance from those bastards that the that call themselves footballers. How do any how do some of these players for Everton get paid to be footballers? How are they professionals at being footballers? Because as far as I'm concerned, if they can call themselves footballers, I could call myself a professional footballer because I could go out onto that pitch and play bare in five minutes, let alone the 90 minutes that most of these players played for Everton. Every single one of those players today were shocking. Every single one of them. What was the game plan? What was the performance from the team? Honestly, that performance today tells me that we are in deep shit. We are in so much trouble, we probably don't even realise it. We are points, three points above the relegation zone now. We just lost in a relegation six-pointer to bloody Newcastle United. We made them look like the Newcastle United that we're probably going to see in a few years' time. We made them look like Manchester City. We made them look like Liverpool. Hell, they dominated us in midfield. They dominated us up front. Defensively, we were shocking again. Absolutely disgraceful. It's reminiscent of the same old Everton we've been seeing week in, week out, so far at Everton Football Club over the last few weeks. And I am not anymore going to care about the results we get in terms of winning matches. Even if we go and win 4 5 0 against Leeds United at Goodson Park next week, I ain't going to enjoy it or let it sink in and. You know, go out to the Bahamas and enjoy the result for a week before I get let down again the week after that. I'm just going to accept the fact that we'll probably won't win one game and then go on another five game losing streak uh, after that game. Because this this Everton team are so incompetent of off a of building off of a result. We saw it against Arsenal. 1-2-1 one, one against Arsenal. Fantastic performance. Fantastic result. Let's build off that and go to Crystal Palace and get a point probably. We end up losing that game 3-1. Deserve to lose the game 100%. No different here. We battered Brentford at Goodson Park in the FA Cup. We deserve to win that game. It was a fantastic result. Every single player on that pitch deserved to be given a medal just for that performance alone. And then you get this performance to, uh, this week. Losing 3-1 to bloody Newcastle United. We deserve to lose that game 100%. First half I thought to myself... We were all right in some places, defensively looked shaky, but I'd be happy to take a point here. Before the match, I would have been more than happy to have taken a point from St. James Park. But then, second half, absolutely collapsed, and none of these players deserve to be game paid. If these players, if these players have any sympathy for the supporters, they would pay back the amount of money that it took to get up to bloody Newcastle for every single one of those away supporters. If they really care, they would donate their week's wages to some sort of charity of any form or any type. But you know that they won't because they've got to pay off their, their Porsches and their BMWs and all that shit. They need to get the new trending clothes and all that shit. I don't care. As a footballer, you get paid to be a professional footballer. And when you put in a performance like that, it proves to me that you are no better than a Sunday League player. None of those players today deserved more than a 4 out of 10 in terms of a rating. They were all shit. The substitutions were poor. The players that the starting 11 was poor. Yes, we had injuries. And yes, we had some bad luck with some of the goals we conceded. But then again, we didn't deserve to win. Newcastle 100% deserved to win. Every single player on that pitch was an absolute joke for Everton today. And for me, with this Everton squad, with our current form, even with Frank Lampard at the wheel now, we are going to get bloody relegated. And if we don't win against Leeds United, I'm not accepting a point against Leeds United. Three, three points against Leeds United. And if we don't get three points against Leeds United, I'm accepting the fact that we're going to be going on away days to... Blackpool and Press and North End next season because that is where we're going to be at next season. The Championship, if we don't win against Leeds United next week, we are game relegated, no doubt about it. It's just unfortunate that under a new manager, this is the same mindset we've got. But why can we, what else can we say? We just lost 3 1 to Newcastle United. Bloody Newcastle, we are in the relegation zone. We're only three points above the relegation zone. And our form. 
and our results and our fixtures coming up. None of them are easy. We will get relegated. We will get relegated. I'm accepting it at this point, especially if we lose to Leeds United. If we lose to Leeds or drop two points against Leeds, we are getting relegated. I'm accepting it 100%. Nothing else to say. Shocking performance. Every single one of those players should not be paid until they win their next Premier League match for Everton. No excuses. Absolutely unacceptable.